So I have to teach these kids how to learn? I heard this question asked by a veteran teacher when I first introduced the CCGPS. This presentation will explore the 16 habits of mind that educators can use to support student thinking and enhance student learning. The research is from Dr. Arthur L. Costa. The reference to his study can be found at the end of this presentation. Presentation by Renee Dawson. Let's look at the habits that can help students produce knowledge and respond to those questions or problems they don't immediately know the answer to. Habit 1. Persisting. I can't do this. It's too hard. We've heard them all. Successful students analyze a problem and develop a plan for how to attack it. Their ability to sustain a problem-solving process over time makes them comfortable with confusing situations. Habit 2. Managing impulsivity. Every teacher has had at least one student that seems to speak and act before they think. Effective problem solvers do the opposite of that. They visualize the final product, plan their actions, goals, or destinations before they begin. Habit 3. Listening to others. Costa said that we spend 55% of our lives listening, yet it is one of the least taught skills in school. The ability to attend to our, what our conversational partner is saying while monitoring one's own thoughts is a very complex skill. Good listeners not only listen, but they try to understand what the other person is saying. Habit 4. Thinking flexibly. Having flexible thinking allows students to shift through many perceptual positions and approach it from new or different ways. If one way doesn't work, they can look internally or externally to others' ideas for another solution. Habit 5. Thinking about our thinking. Metacognition is our ability to think about what we know and what we don't know. This requires employing many of the habits we've already mentioned, making a plan, sticking with the plan, and reflecting on the outcome. Habit 6. Striving for accuracy and precision. Make sure you check your work. All teachers say it. These thinkers take pride in their work and check over their work for accuracy. They focus on excellence instead of expedience. Habit 7. Questioning and posing problems. Effective problem solvers know how to ask questions to fill in the gaps between what they know and what they don't know. They use metacognition. Habit 8. Applying past knowledge to new situations. Evaluating prior knowledge and being able to recall the knowledge to apply to new problems is crucial when it comes to thinking. Effective teachers work this strategy into their lessons. Effective problem solvers do this as well. Habit 9. Thinking and communicating with clarity and precision. Looking back to some of the previous habits, this habit ties in nicely. In order for students to explain their thinking as well as have accuracy and precision, their statements need to be supported by explanations, comparisons, quantification, and evidence. Habit 10. Gathering data through all senses. To ensure powerful learning, we want students to gather as much information as possible through the many sensory pathways to their brain. This sensory information helps absorb more information from the environment. Habit 11. Creating, imagining, and innovating. Creative humans think about problems differently. They look at other possibilities from many angles. They look for feedback and criticism in order to refine their creations. Habit 12. Responding with wonderment and awe. These learners enjoy figuring things out by themselves and continue to learn throughout their lifetimes. This is what is seen in preschool. So what happens to this way of thinking as children age? Habit 13. Taking responsible risks. These learners draw on prior knowledge, think about our consequences, and have a well-trained sense of what is appropriate. They use metacognition when deciding if a risk is worth taking, and know that not all risks are worth taking. Habit 14. Finding humor. Humor has been found to liberate creativity and provoke higher thinking skills such as anticipation, finding new relationships, visual imagery, and making analogies. Laughter has wonderful psychological effects on humans, so bring some humor back into learning. Habit 15. Thinking interdependently. We are social beings and we know that all of us together are more powerful. Group work can teach many skills, both social and educational, without teachers even realizing. Learning how to effectively work in a group is a lifelong skill. Habit 16. Learning continuously. Intelligent people are in a continuous learning mode. They use metacognition to approach situations. Learning is the only way to continue to grow and improve ourselves. As teachers, we do it so we should show our students how to as well. These habits of mind are interwoven throughout our lives. They are found in the subject matters taught in school and are vital for understanding with the implementation of the CCGPS. In order for our students to be successful in life, teachers need to show them how to be lifelong critical thinkers and learners.